cover. People are laughing at you. Dear friends, did you ever ask these kind of questions to yourself? Did you at least talk to yourself like this? Sometimes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Even I was. Dear Toastmasters and my dear guests, this is Manikant Vasan standing in front of you. And I'll explain why, when, and how I have these questions. In 2007, when I was in my 7th standard, I was a member in Consumers Club. Normally, in every school, students from 7th to 9th standard, all the students will be members in Consumers Club. At that time, there was a district level uh, allocation competition is going on. So there will be a school level competition first. The top five performers will move on to district level competition. One of my teacher posted me to participate in that. And that was my first elocution competition. With that only, I discovered myself that I had a crippling stage fear. <laughs> no, nothing. And then, at, least, at last, I prepared my speech. I biharded it like anything. Without knowing the meaning of it, I biharded it. <laughs> I went on the desk like this. I started my speech. Within a short span of time, I forgot everything. My hands are shivering like this. Even I don't know the logic. I'm thinking something happened to me. And I appeared to in front of judges with a pale and blank face, like this only. My hands were shivering and my face is like this. I understood the logic. I came down. The competition is uh, done. And then, unfortunately or fortunately, I got selected at the last position from my school, that is fifth position, to participate in district level. But I felt ashamed, completely shattered. With that disappointment, I reached home. I confessed to my mom everything, what happened, and even cried. On that night, what she told me, my dear friends, I remember it till today and for my life. Like what she told us, you don't need to be a winner all the time, and you won't be the best every time. Just give your try. No one is going to scold you if you lose it. At least you'll come to know what it is. These words created an impeccable impact on me. The whole night I practiced in my speech, in front of mirror and in front of my mom. I didn't sleep on that night. The next day, I was ready for the competition. Apart from delivering what I practiced on that night, nothing is there in my mind. I forgot my judges, faculty, friends, everyone. Just what I practiced, I want to deliver it. I went to the IAS, district level competition, and I spoke flawlessly for five complete minutes. The audience were like this only. All of them, including my teachers, were astonished. Oh, is he Arman Kanta? <laughs> Yesterday, he, he's the one who came into this position. Even I was like that only. Then, my dear friends, it was a district level competition of 70 students from different, different schools. And I got district third in that. It was, and I taken a reward on the hands of district collector and consumer court chief justice. In the in my school history of ten years, I was the second person who got a district level award in allocution. My name went off like anything. I became so popular in school because of this. So, apart from this, awards, rewards, fame. Forget about this. There is one takeaway that I took from this overall experience. That is, participation is more important than me. There are a couple of times. In this scenario, I succeeded. That's okay. There are a couple of times I got failed. But still, please participate in that. At least we'll know what is that. After that, if this uh, participation is more important than winning, this line became my driving factor till today. This one only made me, in college days, I joined in CSI, what you said, Computer Society of India. I joined as a member and then I became a chairman of CSI student body. I organized three international conferences, two cultural press under the CSI. Still, in that driving factor, I entered into IBM, okay, I left CSI, I entered into IBM. Here, in our press and uh, events, I gave dance performance, Skit, ramp walk with a beautiful girl, <laughs> and volunteering for various events. 
The same factor made me to join an IPM BETC, served as secretary in the last term, and now vice president of education. Maybe the activities I'm doing are diverged, dance, create performance, Toastmasters, but all of them rooted from a single cause, single line. Participation is more important than anything. And at last, I want to tell you people something. Success and failures are not in our hands. So you don't need to bother about it. The only thing in your hands is face the situation and wholeheartedly give your active participation. That's it. Over to you.